to you about an account in QuickBooks that a lot of QuickBooks users don't understand. And that's the Opening Balance Equity Account. And the Opening Balance Equity Account is created to facilitate data entry when you're creating a new QuickBooks file. So imagine we're creating a new QuickBooks file. You know, we're, there's a lot of accounts that we're going to need to add into that. One of those is going to be my bank account. And so this is an existing company. It's been around for a while. So I've got a bank account already out there, but I haven't got it in QuickBooks. So I can go into my chart of accounts and add a new bank account. Since this is an existing bank account, it has an existing balance. So I want to set my opening balance for this bank account in my QuickBooks file. So I can just click on that and go in and enter my opening balance. Problem is, all we've done is told QuickBooks that there is money in the account. We didn't tell it where the money came from. QuickBooks doesn't really know. So the solution is to put the offset to this transaction to an account called Opening Balance Equity. And the idea is the bank balance isn't the only thing I need to create. I'll need to create um, accounts receivables accounts for all my customers, accounts payables accounts for my vendors, I'll have inventory and assets and loans. There's a lot of different balances that need to go in to creating this QuickBooks file. And you know, some of them are going to be positive, some of them are going to be negative, but overall they should eventually net to zero, otherwise my balance sheet wouldn't balance. So theoretically, when you're finished setting up your QuickBooks account, or your QuickBooks file, your opening balance equity account should net to zero. Problem is, in most QuickBooks files that we see, the opening balance equity account still has a balance. And that balance can span for years and years and years. And we want to get that cleaned up. Because, like I said, opening balance equity was only designed to be a temporary account for setting up the QuickBooks file. So if you've got it lingering out there for several years, it looks kind of sloppy on your balance sheet and it makes your balance sheet a lot less professional when you're presenting it to banks, investors, auditors. So we want to get that cleaned up and zeroed out so that your balance sheet looks more presentable. So let me show you where you would go to look and see if you've got a balance in the opening balance equity and we'll talk about how to clean it up if you do. So let's open up our balance sheet and if you open up the balance sheet and go all the way to the bottom to this equity section you'll see here I've got an opening balance equity account for about $1,400. If you don't see opening bal equity in your equity section, then more likely than not, your opening balance equity has been netted to zero and it's hidden from the balance sheet. That's what we want to see. That's how it should be. But in this case, it's not. I've got opening balance equity out here. So for this particular file, we want to get it cleaned up. Now, the best place to start when you're trying to clean up opening balance equity is to go ahead and look at the transactions that are inside that account. Because as we said, it's a temporary account for opening balance transactions. So really, opening balance transactions are the only thing that should be in there. For whatever reason, we get a lot of other stuff in there sometimes too. So when I double click on this, I, I can see that there are no transactions this year. So whatever happened in opening balance equity happened years ago. So if I clear out the from date and hit refresh, it'll show me everything from, from the beginning of time. So here's all my transactions that are in there. A lot of these are journal entries I've used to create opening balances. Um, I've got an inventory adjustment for my beginning inventory counts, deposit for one of my beginning bank balances, but then I've got this check in here. If I open up this check, it's written to Cal Gas and Electric, which is a utility company. I know where this is supposed to go, and it isn't opening balance equity. So let's go ahead and change this, put it in our utilities expense account where it belongs, save and close it. And now I've gotten rid of one of the transactions that doesn't belong in here. And the only ones that are left now are opening balance transactions, things that I legitimately know were used to create my beginning QuickBooks file. But that didn't help us net to zero. Even though everything in here is just opening balance transactions, I still have an outstanding balance of 1635 now $1,635. So once you've gone through all of your transactions in the opening balance equity account and you still have a balance, the next thing I would do is go to your balance sheet and just start at your assets and work your way down looking for beginning balances you may have forgotten. 
You know, you want to make sure all your bank balances are there, accounts receivable, accounts payable, inventory, your assets, your depreciation, even things like uh, petty cash if you're using a petty cash account. Or um, I know down here in the liabilities, credit cards is another one that p often gets missed when you're setting up beginning balances that you'll want to make sure are in there. So, you know, look for any of these opening balance items that might have missed from your balance sheet. Offset those to opening balance equity, and that will help with this outstanding balance. Now, for sake of time, we're going to say that we've gone through this carefully, and we didn't find anything else out there that needed a beginning balance that we haven't already created. So we've checked all our transactions and cleared out anything that's not an opening balance transaction. We've gone through the balance sheet and identified all of our opening balances, but there's still a balance left. At this point, we, it's pretty safe to assume that that opening balance is probably retained earnings and just needs to be moved into the retained earnings account um, in order to reflect your balance sheet correctly. Now, word of caution, you don't want to roll anything into retained earnings without checking with your tax accountant first. Sometimes rolling other numbers into your retained earnings account can really mess up the retained earnings balance that they're tracking for your tax returns and can make it a little more difficult for them to do your tax return in the coming year. So just check with your tax accountant first, explain what you're doing, explain what, you, you know, what your thought process is and why you've decided to roll out putting balance equity into retained earnings and make sure it's okay with them. So we're going to assume we've talked with our tax accountant and uh, they agree that this opening balance equity should be moved to retained earnings. So let me show you how to do that. Um, you can come up here to Company, make journal, general journal entry, and we'll plug in our opening balance equity, 1635. And you can see in here on the balance sheet that I've got a positive balance in my opening balance equity. That means that it's a natural credit account. And so to reduce it, I would need to create a debit in my, op in my transaction. If opening balance equity was negative, which happens sometimes too, then you'll need to make it a credit in order to zero it out. So let's add a quick note here. Roll opening balance equity to retained earnings. And we'll make retained earnings my offset account. I'm going to hit save. Now you can see here it's throwing a flag, letting us know that retained earnings isn't usually a good place to put any of your transactions. Retained earnings is another one of those automated accounts that QuickBooks uses to help roll all of your profit and loss accounts to retained earnings at the end of the year. So it likes to manage this account itself, and it usually prefers that we don't touch it. But in this case, it's necessary to roll our opening balance for retained earnings into the retained earnings account. So we're going to go ahead and say OK. So now that opening balance equity account is gone. It's been netted to zero and hidden from my balance sheet. This is the way a balance sheet should look, uh, at least in the equity section. So that's kind of just a brief overview of how the opening balance equity account works and how it can be cleaned up. Now that it is cleaned up, for whatever reason, sometimes opening balance pops back up to the balance sheet. We've accidentally put some transaction to that account we don't want to. This has a way of resurfacing. So we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So the last thing I would do is come into the chart of accounts and find our opening balance equity, edit it, and mark it as inactive. Now it's going to hide that from my lists so that that account doesn't accidentally get selected and we get balances creeping back into our opening balance equity. So with that, now we've got a really clean balance sheet that's presentable professionally to bankers, auditors, and investors um, that need to look at our balance sheet and uh, understand the numbers that are there.